Welcome back, movie lovers. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of classic cinema with a heartfelt tale that's sure to tug at your heartstrings. Join me as we explore the 1986 romantic drama, Every Time We Say Goodbye. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. For more deep dives into cinematic treasures like this one, directed by Mosh Mizrahi, Every Time We Say Goodbye is a poignant love story set against the backdrop of World War II. Starring Tom Hanks and Christina Marslick, this film takes us on a journey of love, sacrifice, and the enduring power of human connection. Set in Jerusalem during the tumultuous era of the 194OS, the film follows the forbidden romance between David, an American pilot volunteering for the British Royal Air Force, and Sarah, a young Jewish woman. David and Sarah's love transcends boundaries of culture, religion, and war. Despite facing opposition from Sarah's family and societal norms, their bond only grows stronger. Their relationship blossoms amidst the chaos of war, but they must confront the harsh realities of their circumstances. As they struggle with the imminent departure of David for another dangerous mission, they grapple with the uncertainties of their future together. At its core, every time we say goodbye explores themes of love, loyalty, and the profound effects of war on individuals and relationships. Through its authentic portrayal of wartime Jerusalem and its captivating performances, the film resonates with audiences long after the credits roll. From its breathtaking cinematography to its stirring soundtrack, every aspect of this film contributes to its timeless appeal. Although every time we say goodbye may not be as widely celebrated as some other films of its time, its emotional depth and compelling narrative ensure its place in the pantheon of cinematic classics. Critics praised the performances of Hanks and Marslick, as well as Mizrahi's direction, for their ability to capture the complexities of love and loss against the backdrop of war. A Protestant World War II pilot and a Jewish girl fall in love in Jerusalem. Even though their diverse backgrounds threaten to pull them apart, an American flyer who joined the raft before his country was in the war is recovering from a leg injury in Jerusalem. Through an English friend, he meets a quiet Jewish girl whose close-knit family originally came from Spain. The two are attracted to each other, but she is convinced their diverse backgrounds mean it could never work. Not only is he a Gentile, his father is a Protestant minister. So though they keep running into each other in the small community, they find themselves just as frequently parting again. As David, an American who is enlisted in the British Royal Air Force, recuperates for a war injury, he winds up getting to know a reserved Sephardic Spaniard named Sarah, and they eventually fall in love. The dilemma is that Sarah's family is extremely controlling and requires that all family members marry only Jews. David and Sarah's love become so full of passion that Sarah will escape from her home, going down a sheet rope from her bedroom balcony to be with David before he goes back to serving in the war. She makes David promise never to see her again once he leaves for duty, and so they have their last exchange of love and passion as a goodbye. Now, the question is, will they ever meet again? It's like a Romeo and Juliet kind of story. Will her family really keep her from reuniting with David after the war, if he wins up coming back in spite of the promise to never reunite? Love is the fire that makes life full of great spirit. Long live Yel Ammer, this story touches on the life of the Sephardic Jew culture, and the use of the old Spanish language from Spain called Ladino. Every Time We Say Goodbye is a 1986 American drama film starring Tom Hanks and Christina Marslick. Hanks plays a Gentile American in the Royal Air Force, stationed in mandatory Jerusalem, who falls in love with a girl from a Sephardic Jewish family. The film has the unusual distinction of being partly in the Ladino language. With young lovers of very different backgrounds with religious and cultural differences, the film is an account of a forbidden love. 
out. David Bradley is an American pilot who joins the Royal Air Force RAF before the United States enters World War II. After his North American P-51 Mustang is shot down in North Africa, he recovers from his leg injury in Jerusalem. When David is no longer critical, yet not fully healed, he is transferred to a boarding house until his leg is fully functional. During his recovery, David meets Sarah Perara, a serene girl of Spanish-Jewish descent. Her cousin, Victoria, has convinced her young cousin to accompany her as an alibi, as she wants to meet up with her rap boyfriend Peter. Peter and Victoria tell David and Sarah of their upcoming wedding plans. When David is told beforehand, he tries to discourage his friend from making the serious commitment. Sarah does not approve either, reminding Victoria of the problems that it would create for her in the family. When a drunk Australian serviceman tries to force Sarah to kiss him, her cousin, Nessim, pops out of nowhere to aid her while David knocks him out by breaking his cane over his head. She rushes off, angry that her cousin was watching her. David feigns not knowing Sarah, to protect Victoria and Peter. Nessim, grateful for David's help, invites him for a drink. There, he confesses that he has been in love with Sarah since she was small. She is now 18, so he is hopeful. Nessim invites David to Sabbath dinner so that Sarah can thank him properly. At the dinner, David sits among Sarah's many Sephardic relatives. He is inundated with questions, at which time he reveals that he is a minister's son. The grandmother declares that he is a good man who will live a long life. Afterward, Sarah thanks David for help with both the Australian and for maintaining Victoria's secret. Although Sarah and David are attracted to each other, she is convinced that their diverse backgrounds mean that it could never work, so she refuses to go on a date with him. David tries to formally ask for her family's permission, but they disapprove, mostly because he is the Gentile son of a Protestant minister. Soon realizing their disapproval, David makes a quick exit. David and Sarah next see each other at Peter and Victoria's brief wedding. Although they keep coinciding with each other in the small community, they part as frequently as they meet. They take a walk, when David asks Sarah to definitively tell him whether she wants him to leave her alone. After saying yes, she kisses him on the mouth for the first time. The next day, as Nessim again speaks of loving her and of their possible future wedding, Sarah implies that she may love someone else. At a boxing match of one her relatives, she tells him that she is leaving, then connects with David. Going for a walk, they dance briefly and kiss. Needing to see her again, David insists that they meet again, which one of her brothers witnesses. Sarah talks to her grandmother about her dilemma. The older woman senses her turmoil, but cannot offer any advice. After David and Sarah spend the day together on a day trip out of town, he takes her to his boarding house. They are nearly intimate, but she again backs out. Before he is able to take her home, several of her younger family burst in, knock him out and drag her away. Sarah is confined to her house, and they confiscate her clothes. A brother helps her sneak out. She goes to David's boarding house, and they spend the night together. Before he awakens, Sarah goes to Nessum's and, despite loving David, asks him to marry her. They make wedding plans while David is away in Egypt. He returns, as he had promised, two days before the wedding. Just before he has to return, Sarah catches up to him. She promises that she will wait for him and write, they case and he FLIs away. At the time, every time we say goodbye was considered to be the most expensive Israeli film 3, 7 million. However, the film was a box office bomb, with a worldwide gross of only $278,623. To this day, according to Box Office Mojo, it remains the lowest grossing theatrically released film starring Hanks. Reviews of the film were lukewarm at best, and the film had a limited release in theaters.
Film critic Janet Maslin of the New York Times gave the film a negative review, saying, Tom Hanks is utterly out of place in the Israeli romance. Every time we say goodbye for at least two reasons, because there's something so innately comic about him, even in solemn surroundings, and because he has so much more energy than the film does. And there you have it, folks. Every time we say goodbye remains a testament to the enduring power of love in the face of adversity. Have you seen this film? What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more film discussions. Until next time, happy watching.